how can they not have caught this guy yet? Excuse me? Oh, uh, hey. Can I help you? Uh, I'm sorry about going through your stuff. My girl just kicked me out about a mile down the road and I was just looking for something. And you thought you'd find it in my camp? No, uh, look, I, I know this is weird, considering you just saw me going through all your stuff, but, uh, do you think I could hang here for a bit? She's pretty pissed and could use a chance to cool off. Well, you don't look too dangerous. All right, you can hang. Just no more going through my stuff. Deal. So, you come out here often? Yeah. Every few months or so. Helps me clear my head. I tend to come out before I start work again. What do you do? Salesman. I sell ad space and phone books. Phone books still exist? <laughs> Not by much, though. What about you? I'm a butcher. Sounds pretty gruesome. For others, maybe. I've been doing it since I was young, so I'm pretty used to it. Fair enough. So, what brings you out here? The city was just getting a bit stifling. What do you mean? You ever get the feeling like everyone's out to get you? All the time. Well, then you get it. So, I just packed my bag, grabbed my girl, and out we came. <laughs> Seemed like the only option, really. What's your girl do? Oh, Ellen? <laughs> Nothing. She, she just lays around all day. <laughs> so she booted you, huh? What happened? Nothing. <laughs> She just gets testy from time to time. I hear that happens from time to time. Actually, can I invite something in you? Okay. Good. <clears throat> Oh, good, you're awake. Sorry about the restraints. People in your position tend not to like the next part too much. Well, if this is any indication... Well, I'm glad you get it. So, what is this confession of yours? 
Oh, that? Oh, uh, I was afraid I wasn't entirely honest with you earlier. I don't have a woman just up the road. Not anymore, anyway. See, I'm just here to let off a little steam for my next tour. See, I was looking through your campsite earlier, and I noticed you have one of my reviews. I was a butcher. That part's true. But now, it's not so much a job as it is a hobby. So you're going to kill me? When you put it that way, it sounds so bland. Am I going to kill you? Yes. But I prefer to think of it as chopping your body into little bits and scattering it in the woods. And maybe playing with your blood a little. <laughs> I think I prefer the bland way better. I gotta tell you. I've been doing this for a while now, and you know, it never stops being fun. I had this girl last week, hot, stacked, independent, like everything a guy could want. Sounds nice. So I've got her tied up, and suddenly she turns into this sniveling, crying, mess. I'm talking snot bubbles and everything. And she's begging me to let her go. Promising all kinds of things I'm sure her parents would not want to know about her doing. And I just had to cut her head off. It was undoing all the good work her body was doing. That's a disturbing story. Hope you didn't tell your lady up the road. Don't think she'd like it. She didn't. Not she cared for long. <laughs> Now, you seem like a nice guy, but I really have to do this. <laughs> Shut up! I think it's my turn. You see, several years ago, I started on this little rampage. Made the news. They called me the slasher. <laughs> ah, but then I got smart. I was having way too much fun taking chances left and right. But I wised up. I left town and started playing a little safer. I still have my fun. I found a better way of disposing of evidence. Did you know that at one point I had the F and three other agencies hunting me. I'm still on the most wanted list. You know, when I saw the paper, I thought I had found something like a... like a kindred spirit. But having met you, I'd say you're nothing but a rank amateur, so sloppy. With all the evidence you left behind, I'm shocked the police haven't found you and put you down. 
What are you talking about? I am a serial killer. You are a moron. Now hold still. Now, what goes well with fish? 